Hey there internets, I'm Michael and this is Two Can Play That Game and today I'm bringing you a very special unboxing video. Um, what makes it special you ask? Well, you can win the game that we are unboxing today. All you have to do is follow the link in the description to our contest to win Super Dungeon Explore Forgotten King. So this is the sequel to Super Dungeon Explore and this includes the new rules for the arcade mode. So as I say, you could win this game. So we have an unopened copy just here and we'll keep that there. But wait, here is another copy. So let's open this one up so that you can see what's inside this box and what you could win. All right, so let's get the plastic here off. See, it's a big box, which means a lot of plastic. Yeah, so, um, a bin, hmm. Um, okay, so let's have a look what we got in here. Uh, if we can get the lid off, that will help. Oh, oh there we go. So we got box standing here. Nice colourful chibi characters on there. And uh, what do we have in here? So first thing we have is we have a quick start rules guide. So useful little thing here, just brief summary of the rules. And I'm sure I'll be reading this ASAP so that I can learn this game to teach all of you lovely viewers out there. Yes, I'm talking to you. Um, so what we've got here, we have classic mode. Okay, so this is the full rule book here for the original rule mode, which requires you to have someone playing the, I think it's called the console, um, basically your GM who controls all the monsters. So that's the full rules for that. And then we have here the full rules for the arcade mode. So a lot of, a lot of rules in both these books, but we've got some really nice artwork going on in all of this. And at least it's not too small on the text. And then the next thing we have here is the Explorer's Handbook. Not, not really sure what that is. We've got a lovely map on the back. Um, so yeah, I, I guess this is kind of like a player's handbook. It seems to have all information about the characters that you can play and the races in the world and stuff. So it's just just load more information about the world as a whole, I think. Nice, nice little addition to the game there. And then what do we have here? Uh, we have a catalogue from Ninja Division. So on the cover here, we've got Ninja All-Stars, uh, which I think I think's still not out. Um, but anyway. Uh, we've got Forgotten King that we've obviously got here, and then a world to explore. I think this is still talking about Forgotten King potentially, but then some extra little release bits there. And then on the back here we have Relic Knights and a few of their other smaller games. So um, if you're anything like me, probably don't keep those, so that can go in the rubbish floor pile thing. And then what do we have here? Oh, that's some, a lot of thick cardboard in this plastic. So let's get this off and see what it is. Uh, looks like this might be some map tiles and also some tokens. If it is the tokens, it's very heavy stock they have chosen here, which is a good thing. I, I think generally, except for price wise, but obviously if you win the competition, that's not going to be an issue for you. Um, Oh. There we go. 
Yeah, so, uh, ah, it's not, as, it's not as thick. I thought it was twice as thick as it actually is. But still, nice thickness on cardboard. Um, I'm not gonna sit punching out all these tokens because, well, I'd be here all day and you don't wanna sit and watch that, but uh, lots, lots going on there that'll do various things. I'm sure we can learn more about those when doing the rules explanation. I mean, obviously we're here, we've got our lives, health, and uh, I've got some keys down the bottom here. I guess people can die or something, but uh, yeah, nice there. And then we have, how many? We've got one, two, three, four, six map tiles here, all very green. I think the setting for this one is like a Fay Woods kind of thing. So not too surprising on those. Got a nice little pond on this one on the back here. And uh, yeah, I think these are reasonable, nice tiles. So there we go. Now you can get a look for what the insert of the game is actually looking like. So we've got a cardboard box here, which I guess is gonna have all our minis in. And then we've got here plastic. Yeah, and there's nothing underneath that. Um, just a plastic vacuum form tray, but that should nicely be able to keep stuff in order. Um, so we've got a little pack of cards here. Oh. Goes on to the floor heap. I will, I will clear up the floor, don't worry. Um, oh. Oh, okay, oh, so I thought it was a blank card because um, that side you, there's nothing there, but uh, the other side there is. So what do we have here? Um, these we've got some little purpley cards here, uh, pow pow and stuff. I, I think these control the monsters. So for the arcade mode, um, these will be dictating how the monsters actually act. Um, then we've got some what look to be maybe special ability cards in the green here. So yeah, we've got a big pile of little cards there. You're getting an awful lot in this box. So got all that. We've got a bag here filled with these semi-transparent dice. So that's all the dice for the game. So again, nice amount of content there. Uh, oh, we got some spare bags. I love when any publishers watching any videos like this, spare bags are fantastic. I want as many storage options for the components that you're giving us as possible to keep them nice and safe. And these bags will definitely help with that. So thank you to Soda Pop Miniatures and Ninja Division for the bags. Uh, what else we got in here? We've got some more cards and Oh, these look to be maybe some item cards. If I can get them open, get a better look. And there we go, we've got it, got it going. So, more rubbish to the floor. Yeah, so we've got some items in red here. They've got treasure symbol on the back. And, uh, oh, we've got tile effect cards. So I guess there's gonna be some environment things to worry about. Um, oh, these look to be monsters here, rabid squirrels. I'm guessing that's a monster. So that's some of the cards. And then we've got more treasure cards by the looks. So let's get these ones open. Yeah, so we've got some red treasures, some blue treasures. Uh, we've got the Forgotten King card on the back, back, yeah, on the back here. So we've got, definitely got, these purple ones are obviously, these are the monsters here. Um, not sure what that is. Oh, but then we've got some green monsters as well. Maybe they're different level monsters. Oh no, I think they relate to the, so this is the arcade versions, I think. And then these are the non-arcade, I don't know. I'll have to read up more. Um, Oh, and here we go, we've got our hero cards there. So, that's a nice amount of cards, definitely. Um, so the last thing we need to have a look at is, we need to get this cardboard box out. 
here. It doesn't want to give up. There we go. Oh, fair bit of weight to this. And let's see, so we're just opening this up. And you can see, yeah, this is filled with minis. So this is, of course, a miniatures game and you're getting bags and bags of minis. And these are some really, really quite pretty minis. Squirrels. What else we got here? We got, oh, we've got some heroes. Nice guy in armor. Great centaur figure there. And then we've got some of the big guys, some big planty things, even bigger planty things, and Forgotten King, I think, in there as well. Oh, we got, oh, I love these chests. Gotta love these treasure chests. I mean, if you do any sort of RPG or anything, these are just gorgeous to use. And um, we've got very cute little creatures. I'm, I'm, I guess maybe they're a pets or something, because the monsters are all green, so they're obviously not monsters. Let's put that to the side for now. And we got one final bag of miniatures here. And again, we got uh, more monsters. So you can see we've got bags and bags of miniatures here. And so that is the contents of Super Dungeon Explore, The Forgotten King. Um, just to repeat, at the moment, we will be running a competition and the link for that is in the description and it is also currently on the bottom of the screen. Okay, so with that out of the way, thank you for watching this video. I do hope that you've enjoyed it and I do hope that you are interested in this game and would like to have a copy of it and will therefore take part in the competition. And of course, if you have enjoyed this video, please do watch the rest of my videos and share and subscribe and all those bits. And of course, please do also check us out on social media. We are on Facebook and also on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.